Yeah, on the uh, second and third. Let's check those levels. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I'm sorry. I apologize. How are you doing, everybody? <laughs> Those thing was already on. Man. I am sorry. I apologize. Um, welcome to this live stream, Joe Wentz Project TV. Don't forget to check the links below when everything's done and check for t-shirts. This is the blue edition, of course. And uh, it is tight for space here in this little area. <laughs> 2015 uh, Deluxe Series Fender Strat, uh, beautiful guitar. This is the one I was talking about in my live. Uh, was it my? Was it uh, the one the other day? Uh, where I said I had a used to have a Steve Ray Vaughan American Made Strat, and uh, uh, you know I had to had to sell it. I needed money, and I found this one, of course, a few years ago, and. Uh, it's pretty much, it, to me, it looks just like it. Of course, it's not, you know, exactly, but it's pretty close, man. It's got the gold hardware, stuff like that, right? Um, and it sounds good, I think. I think it sounds great, man. Let me a uh, holy crap! Let me check this chat. I'm sorry. Uh, dry heat. Happy Lefty Friday. Yeah, yes. I'm not letting this app thing slow me down, folks. I know it's backwards, and I am sorry. There's nothing I can do about that, right? You know. Okay, Simon Williams. Hey, Joe. How's it going today? Welcome to the weekend. Yes. Thank God. Thank God. Right. Man. Oh, yes. Thank you for the weekend. Thank goodness. Princey Rocks. Uh oh. I got to hook Brent up, man. <laughs> You got it, Brent. You understand the, <laughs> you get it right. Um, oh, you do. You have one of these, Brent. Really? Uh, it doesn't surprise me. Brent's got like, I think, well, fifty guitars, man. Miss Sonia, how are you doing? Thank you for being here. Craig Tullius, hello, Mister Joe. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Craig, how are you, man? Uh, Mitch Hammond, what's up, man? How are you doing? That's old guy, old guitar guy 62, I think, right? You were asking me about your name here the other day. So uh, there it is. So I don't know. <laughs> YouTube, man, I'm telling you. YouTube is something else, boy. Uh, let's see, uh, Brent C, uh, R2. Hey, Mr. Joe, everyone. I'm, I'm trying to catch up guys. I'm, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Hello, Mr. Joe and everyone. A quick hello from work. I'll catch y'all later. Guitar freaks. R2's at work. Thanks man for hopping in here. I appreciate it very much. Um, Brent, you got one. It's an 84. Well, this is an 80 or not this. The one you have like this is 84. Is that right? Holy smokes, dude. That thing's worth a pretty penny. The working week certainly is a long train coming. <laughs> we played that in a band back in the day, and I can't remember how the rest of it goes. I remember that opening lick, and I can't remember. the. It's been so long. I just, I knew I could pick it right back up if I, you know, look at a video or something. It ain't no big deal. Miss Doe, Miss Tanya. I'm sorry. I kept saying Tanya. It's Tanya, and I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, Sticks, Joan Jet, and Tesla tomorrow night. Huh? Oh, man, that's a party right there, boy. I've never, never had the opportunity to see Sticks, but I've always liked Sticks. Now they got some great songs. Is uh, what is what is what is that singer's name from Sticks? Uh, it just escapes me right now. Is he back with them or is he still out of the band? The last I remember, he was out. He's been out for. A long, uh, I want to say his name is Dennis something. I can't remember. Um, I don't know if he's back with sticks or not. But anyway, I mean, they, they, uh, he was a damn fine keyboard player, wasn't he? And Joan Jett, Tesla. I love Tesla, man. Oh my God. I love Tesla. <laughs> I love Tesla. I love Tesla. And this guitar is it sounds like it is out. This this thing here, it's got still it's got fresh strings from when I played it the last time, which has been a while, I have to be honest. And uh oh, why are we lagging right there? Okay. And uh, so I have to stay on top of it. That's why I got this tuner here. So, man, golly. Uh, Craig says he's doing great. Awesome, man. Uh, just bear with me. I like to try to read the comments if I can to give everybody recognition, man. That's one thing I've seen in other YouTube channels that people won't do, man, if they're doing live streams. They'll, they'll, uh, well, I understand if they have, if the streams, you know, you know, going like this. But this channel is so small, you know, I try to acknowledge everybody because they took the time to come here, you know, and it's just a, it's, it's an odd time of day, you know, just like R2 said, he's at work. So I understand. Brent, she says, yep, that 84 model is, yeah, that's a, dang, Brent, uh, you lucky man. Our metal stage. How are you, man? How are you doing, sir? Thank you for being here, Senator. Uh, Miss Sonia, I think she says she's at work. Simon Williams says, my Strat is 30 years old this year, and I am 60 in July, half my life with that Strat. How about that? Congratulations, Mr. Williams. That's, you, see, uh, you see what I do on these live streams? I just I read what y'all say. This show is, is you know, running from y'all. You know, I might chat a little here and there, might play a couple of riffs, but mostly it's conversation. So if it weren't for y'all, this stream would be over with. So thank you for being here. I really appreciate it very much. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mr. Williams says, Sienna, his little girl says, hey, hey, how you doing, Sienna? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for uh, stopping by. Oh, Miss Doe, your son works at the venue, so you get a box seat. Oh, man. Oh, that is awesome, man. Johnny Bean's in the house. 
Johnny was on late last night on his channel for, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes. I looked at it for a few minutes. I was driving home from work, man. I had a long night last night. Boy, yeah, I was one tired puppy, man. Man. Uh, Miss Sonia said, uh, some streamers uh, get the, yeah, was it young or something? I don't I can't uh, read the chat that makes things nice and family-like. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Let me make sure I read that correctly. This chat, it just, it just moved. I'm, I'm, I apologize. Oh, okay. Some, I, I get what you're saying. They might have their kid or something or a child read the chat while their parent is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you. That is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Let's see here. Good for me, Joe. It's 7.15. Yeah, it's 7.15 in the evening for Mr. Williams. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, Johnny Lefty. Yeah, this uh, YouTube app, man. You know you know what I'm talking about. You, you've, uh, you're you kind of disgruntled with it as well, I believe. I know I am. I've been checking my updates on my phone every day, and it's been updating a bunch of other apps except YouTube that hasn't come up yet. So hopefully it'll come up anytime and it'll do an update and it'll, you know, fix it. <coughs> Excuse me. Mr. Bruce. How are you, man? Thank you for being here, Mr. Bruce. Brent C. Rocks. I love this show, Joe. Great people. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Dave Byron's in the house. Mr. Byron, that's the man right there. That's the man. My man, Dave Byron. Subscribe to Dave Byron, y'all. Super nice guy. I'm telling you, his channel is going to go... Rocket man, he's gonna blow up. I'm telling you, it's just a matter of time. Uh, let's see. Try heat, Brincey Rock. Okay, let me. I gotta try to catch up here. Uh, cold shot, Craig. Man, are you kidding? <laughs> if I could play that, brother, I would. I would be more than happy to do that for you, but I can't. I can't, man. I think the only thing I've tried doing, learning some SRV, my son can do it. He's a, he's a badass guitar player, but me, I'm just, I, 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 man, I think the only thing I remember halfway is. Kind of Mary had a little lamb kind of deal. I just I just never was good at that stuff. I love it. I can do a couple of things here and there. That's that's close as the SRVs I can get. And he he's like, whoa, SRV is just phenomenal. I love I love Stevie, man. I love Stevie. Uh let me try to see some of these. Uh Ben Coombs in the house, man. Ben Coombs. How are you, sir? Uh, <laughs> Johnny. Oh, yeah, the YouTube mobile app stinks. It does, man. It, it's it's uh, it's crazy. <laughs> Craig says that uh, that was nice. The that right there. Oh, thanks, man. And I love, I love, I love the strat. I love the, uh, I go into that, uh, second position, what, you know, first positions all the way down. That's how I do it. <laughs> this is a, uh, all the way your bridge pickup, right? 
Now that is uh now let's go one up. I love I love how the transformation is here. I love that tone. I love that tone. Uh, Dave Byron. Thanks, Joe. Can't do it without all you guys and gals. Always respect the ladies. That's right. Absolutely. If it weren't for the ladies, we'd all be in bad shape. You know, thank God for my wife. She keeps uh, things straightened out, man. Keeps things rolling here and everywhere in my life. So she's a good woman, boy. I got That was the luckiest day of my life when I met her. Um, smokes, boy, this chat is moving. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, thank you, thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you for being uh, involved in the show. <clears throat> Johnny, he's going live later to announce our special time this evening. <laughs> we'll see if it's backward. You threw me there. I was like, we'll see if it's what? It's time backward. I was like, what? did he fall and bump his head? If if you go on the YouTube app, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You're gonna do an announcement. Let's see the best thing. What I was what I did, Johnny, is I went live, but I but I made it private on the app and then went live. It's still live, it's just private. And then I, I did that for about 15, 20 seconds, stopped it, and then let it process, went back and watched it. And I said, yep, it's backwards. So I knew what I was getting into here, but I'm not going to let that stop me, you know? Uh, let's see. Mr. Bruce, only 16, still a teenager. I missed something somewhere. Ben Coombs says he's doing good. Actually have the weekend off. That's nice. Yeah, you worked all last weekend, didn't you? Uh, holiday weekend, all that. You worked. Hell, I did too. I did too, man. I was out, I was out there. I was out there. My goodness, man. I try to adjust this thing, and it just jumps. Okay, Mr. Dave Byron. Great playing and strat tone, Joe. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Miss Sonny says all the great ones are here. <laughs> yeah, they got we got some good people in this little community. It's small. You know, we don't have nothing on you know, like Robert Baker, Tyler Larson, uh Philip McKnight. Those guys are they're they're extremely nice people, but man, their channels are at, you know, way out there in the atmosphere, you know. I'm not worried about that. I just like having fun and communicating with people because I can't like I've said before, I can't get in a band and go play live somewhere. And this is the best way to interact and build an audience in today's time. And I think Dave Byron and Ben and Johnny will agree. And uh, Center and Jim, everybody, I think Adam, I think they'll all agree with me on that. This is the best way to interact these days, you know. Uh, let's see here. JJ Collins. There you are. Hey, man, how are you? If I missed you earlier, I apologize, man. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it very much. Yeah, I'm off today. I don't have to go anywhere. I'm off for the today and tomorrow. Thank goodness. There's Jim Gidry. Hey, Joe, everybody. Happy Friday, he says. That's right. How you doing, brother Jim? Uh, let's see. Miss uh, Tanya says, puppy update. Thank you for, for bringing that up. I didn't know if, you know, I wasn't sure whether to bring that up or not. Um, Chloe is doing okay. She's resting. She's 
the the sad part is she had two puppies, but they were stillborn. They didn't. They were. They didn't. You know, they were deceased. Uh, so they didn't make it. And bless her heart, she don't. She doesn't understand what's going on. She's. Um, my wife told me this morning that she snapped at her sister. Actually, bit her on the face because her sister, I I guess, got a little close. And uh, she's in that mommy mode. She's in that protective mommy mode, even though the babies aren't here. But she thinks that, I guess she thinks, she's wondering, you know, she knows something is different, right? So, but, you know, what 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 can you do? You know, it's nothing, what can you do, man? But I'm just glad she's okay. I'm just glad she's all right, you know. It was, it was, it was, uh, it was rough, man. I, th I could have swore, man. I told my wife, she's got to have probably three or four puppies in her belly. She only had two. Thank God. She's so little herself. I'm just glad she's all right. Um, Let's see. Mr. Bruce, I told Simon my Strat is 16 years old. Oh, oh, okay. That's where that come. Okay. Wow. Really? You got a Strat? You've had that long? That's awesome. Mr. Ben says he's worked most weekends the last couple of months. I know. Doesn't that suck? And then you have odd days off. I remember where I work now. They go by seniority. So the longer you're there, the better runs you can get and the better your days off you can pick. Right. But I remember for years, man, my days off were a Sunday and a Tuesday. That sucked, man. That sucked. Um, you know, off a day work a day off a day work a day and as you can't get situated that way man i could i did it for years but i was a shoot man that was you know 20 years ago so it was i could i was used to it then not now uh johnny bean i didn't mind that it's backwards selfie photos are always taken backwards on instagram but the last time i used the youtube mobile app my phone got hot and the app crashed on me really Wow. Man. Mr. Bruce says, been working all that uh, extra hours. You get gear fest money. Yeah, he's. He's uh, he's getting geared up and ready to, to uh, go. Mr. James Lyle's in the house. Hey, Mr. Lyle, how are you, sir? Thank you for being here. Mr. Bruce says, hello, Jim Guidry. Um. Johnny says, sorry to hear that, Joe, about the puppies. Yeah, thanks, man. It, it was, you know, it was just, uh, what what can you do, man? I mean, you know, it was sad, but it just wasn't meant to be, man. You know, and just think, we took our eyes off of her just for a couple of minutes, and we come back out to get her, and she was gone. This was like, what, two months ago or whatever when I did that, when she was missing? If you go back on this channel, you'll you'll see that. And, uh, you know, I, some people might say, man, you're, you're taking this a little too serious. Well, exactly. Our pets are our family. They're part of our family. You know, they're like our kids, you know, I'm a huge animal lover, man. So, uh, it was, you know, it was, it was tough, but we found her, but she was, she, you know, my wife said, I bet she's pregnant. I was like, Oh God, sure enough, <laughs> later on that next day and a half, that, chihuahua down the street come trotting down the road past our house just to trotting like doo, 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 doo. yeah he, <laughs> he was in a good mood <laughs> oh man uh mr dave byron says oh yeah i agree the best platform here hey jim gidry dave byron says Miss sonia says the sad face sorry joe yeah man it was it was uh it was rough, but it, you know, it will be okay. She's all right. JC Smith is in the house. Hey, uh, hey, Joe, howdy folks. Just passing through on my way to work. Take care, everyone. Thank you, Mr. JC Smith. I wonder if J.C. Smith, if his brother is G.E. Smith from the Saturday Night Live. <laughs> How cool would that be? Talk about an awesome musician, G.E. Smith. Man. Uh, let's see. 
James Lyle said something in his message. I guess he wanted to say something else. I don't know. Uh, Mr. Bruce says speedy recovery to Chloe. Thank you, man. Yeah, she's doing okay. She it's just it just it takes a bit because she's she's got some age on her, man. She's not a spring chicken, no pun intended, but you know. <clears throat> hey, JJ, <laughs> JJ, how's the jazz? What up? What up? <laughs> I love when he does that. I don't know. I remember when he done that for the first time. I about fell to the floor. What up? What up? <laughs> what up? What up? <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I always thought that was cool. Uh, Jim Gidry is saying hello to everybody. He's at work, so he's trying to. Uh, Jim is in the situation I'm. I'm usually in when when I'm people go live. I'm on the road. I'll jump in for a second and say hey, and then people say hey Joe, how are you doing? And I don't answer in case nobody know, knows why I don't because I'm driving. So I and Ben knows that. Ben helps me spread the word on that, but. Uh, Jim's at work. Yeah, he's he's back at work. He's off his lunch break. So if he's not answering y'all, that's because he is working. So he's not he's not being rude. He's just at work. Um, uh, let's see here. Man, this is good. Let's see here. I'm trying to adjust the chat. Jim Gidry says, "Hey Ben." Uh, everybody's talking to everybody else. That's awesome. That's right, Joe. Dave Byron chimes in. That's right, Joe. Our pets are part of the family. Sorry for the loss. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. That that means a lot. Pardon me. Thank you. Hey, there's Jim. Okay. He says, I'm doing good, Simon. I hope you are. Pardon me. Uh, Miss Sonia says, my little uh, pet terrier Tore my big lovable mastiff up bad. Oh, really? On an IV drip and giving him penicillin shots. Oh my God. This is, was this recent? Oh man. So the two dogs, the one dog attacked the other. I'm trying to, these words, these, I apologize. I'm, I can barely read this stuff. I need another eye exam. Bad, man. I don't know what it is. This These past six months, my vision is starting to decline. Man, I, I well, good luck, Miss Sonia, on, your, on the uh, recovery for your uh, lovable family pet there. Man, golly. That's crazy that they would... Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, it's not crazy, but thank God that doesn't happen here. We got three chihuahuas and they don't, they don't fight with each other. They snap at each other, but they don't get no physical altercation. Not that I know of. I haven't seen that yet. We've had them for years and, uh, they get, they get aggravated with each other because my wife, when they go outside and they come back, she'll give them each a treat and one will get finished with their treat <laughs> and try to sneak over here and take the other and, that's what starts everything. You know, they start snapping at each other and it's, it's crazy. All right, Johnny, we'll see you later. Take care. And, uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. JJ Collins, Joe, just wanted to jump in, uh, quick to give a thumbs up and say hi to everyone. I will send you a message later to see if you still want to do that interview. I would love to do that, Mr. J.J. Collins. Send me a message, sir. Um, uh, you can send it through YouTube. You know how to send a message through YouTube? Just uh, go to my page. and uh, It's on there somewhere that says message, and you can just type a private message there and send it to me, and I'll I'll check in the next day or two. I don't think I, I don't, I don't think I have your phone number or nothing like that. So, uh, Miss Sonia said, "Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah." What up? What up? Yes, one attacked the other. 
two more dogs egged it on. Oh my gosh, man. Oh. Mr. Bruce, it's not your eyes, it's from all the wrenches. <laughs> Mr. Ben Coo oh, no, you didn't miss nothing, man. We're just sitting there chatting, man. You didn't miss anything. Believe me, you're watching this channel. You ain't missing nothing. <laughs> you're not missing nothing here, brother. This is just a chit-chat. That's all. Uh, Miss Sonny said, I missed uh, seeing the altercation in action, or I would have, uh, oh, wow, would have took care of the aggressive one. Man, oh, so it wasn't, it was somebody else's pet okay oh that's that's bad right there we actually had one time uh this was years ago people across the street pardon me i'm trying to get comfortable the people across the street man they got two little dogs and our uh, oldest bella my wife let her out you know to do her business she was in our yard our dog in our yard their dog ran from, and they had a little dog too, ran across the street and attacked Bella and bit her and, you know, drew blood and opened wounds and everything. It wasn't real, real bad, but it was, and man, woo, boy, I was at work. I didn't know until I got home and man, it was on like Donkey Kong, boy. My wife uh, saw it right when it happened and she ran that dog off and she brought Bella back in here and marched over there and it was bad. She gave that woman hell, boy. Guess what? They got a fence up now. And they paid our medical bills for our dog, too. <laughs> it, was, it was, you know, I mean, hell, their dog came over here, you know. Yeah, that's uh, over there. I've, I've talked about that. Those are people over there. The, the husband, they're all, you know, he's probably, you know, in his mid-60s, I guess. He's really laid back. He's a nice guy. But his wife is, she is the instigator. She, she, uh, you know, it's just crazy. I mean, you know, I, I don't, we pretty much just stay on our side of the fence. They stay on theirs, but there's been a couple of things that's happened sometime. And it's like, really, you know, I could tell you all kind of stories, man. Uh, In my own Facebook messenger? Uh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. Mark Taylor. How are you, man? Bad man goes. Laugh out loud. Oh, they were all your animals. Okay. I thought maybe it was another animal had came from down the road or something. Oh, my goodness. Well, I hope everything works out, man. Golly. My goodness let's see here okay i think we're we're caught up on the chat now finally man <laughs> i'm sorry guys but yeah See if we can play a little bit.
Yay. <laughs> That's fun, man. I love doing that. Fun stuff. Uh, play some Hendrix, <laughs> Bruce. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, goodness. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's a... Uh, I haven't played this guitar in a while. And I, I love strats, man. It's just, it puts you in a different perspective with the tones and stuff like that. <laughs> hey, Mr. Williams, I asked you the other day and you said you didn't, you didn't want one. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I know the the uh, backwards image is crazy. I know. I, I wish I could flip that. I don't know what. It's so weird. So weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ben, he only plays left-handed on YouTube as well. It's so weird. Yeah, it's a. It's, uh... Thank you, Mr. Byron. Thank you, man. Yeah, to me, it's it's um, it's all about feel you know you don't have to be uh ingve to be uh, a good guitar player you know uh, i think it's all about feel and and vibrato man you got to make sure you got to work on your vibrato it, it took me that took me a lot i still work on it today that took me a long time You know, you gotta, that's, that's feel, man. That's emotion. Can you imagine doing that without vibrato? Just... It's just, it's something is lacking, right? It's like a singer, you know, it puts that accent on it, right? So it's it's about touch, you know, and vibrato and look at look at BB King, man. I mean, he he uh he was the king of the of the master of the one note and the vibrato, right? He was just awesome. BB King, I luckily my wife and I got to see him before he passed away. I've been wanting to see him for years. Thank you, Mr. Williams, man. Mellow, beautiful playing, Joe, Mr. Williams. Mellow. Yeah, I love I love that uh, mellow state. That's why I love delay and reverb. 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 Reverb.com. This is brought to you in part by Reverb. <laughs> hey, those guys on do the uh, things on Reverb, man. Those guys are phenomenal. I wish I could play like that. Mr. Byron, does your loop pedal have a fade out function? No, sir. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't. No, I, it would be nice. Uh, but the only thing I don't like about this pedal, I know you can get a an extra pedal, uh, just a regular, like a foot switch that Boss makes to help with the on and off function. Because to turn this pedal off, you got to step on it twice real quick, and that stops it. And it's like, it's, it's just hard to do that when you're playing, a, you know, I look like an idiot, you know, to cut it off. That's some of a bitches having a spasm. What's wrong with them? You know, but it's a, <laughs> uh, but uh, I like the pedal. I like, I like it for what I do here. It's perfect. Um, you can layer stuff and all that, but uh, it's fun just to mess with, you know? <clears throat>
then Coombs, I need to get my strap back up and playing. Yeah, man, I love playing straps, you know. I can't, I can't go to sleep with that melody. Well, that's good. That's a good thing. It's, it's uh, you know, I mean. So just goofing around. That was in the key of A for all you guitar nerds. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I agree a thousand percent. Joe, Mr. Byron chimes in. Feel is most important, bro. It, it is, is it not? I mean, I'm telling you, man. You got to. You just got to. Look at uh, another example that I like to use is uh, uh, Tom Scholes, Boston. That guy's that guy's amazing. He's he's not real flashy, but he plays all the cool notes in and out of the box, and to make he makes it fit. I've done videos about uh, Tom Schultz, uh, the uh, guitar ace Rockman. Go back on this channel, and you'll see that. And um, did a peace of mind on this channel covered that and uh that was a lot of fun and but tom schultz is is amazing guitar player man he's just you know, talk about feel and touch and beautiful harmonies and it's just like oh tone that tone is legendary is it not i mean come on now that tone is legendary uh mr williams Clean and open tone is a great thing. Love that on my Strat and Delta Blues. Yes, absolutely, man. Yeah. I know sometimes when I'm playing, it's a lot of overdrive and stuff like that. That's, that's just what I love. I love to rock out sometimes, you know. So that's just me. That's what I like. Everybody likes what they like. You know, I think I heard Ben say, I actually went back and watched our hangout with Dave Byron and Ben Coombs yesterday. If you haven't seen that, go back and check it out. It's a great, it was a great live show, man. Uh, that was when we had Dave on for the first time talking about, about how uh, he came to Florida, uh, Fort Myers, North Fort Myers, Florida. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Ben talked about using Fender amps with plenty of headroom and because uh, he gets all his tone from his pedals. And I thought that was really cool. And everybody... You know, everybody likes what they like. Everybody's different. You know, I like to rock out with the Wolfgang specials and the, the Sterling by Music Man. But there's still a piece of me that goes back to a Strat all the time. Because I, that's what I started out with. You know, I love Strats. Uh, let's see. I'm missing the chat here. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Holy smokes, man. Good gosh. Let me see. Dave Byron. Yeah, Joe B.B. King and Carlos Santana. Yeah. Oh, I haven't had a chance to see Santana. Never have. Simon Williams. B.B. King famously uh, 
said he couldn't sing and play at the same time and didn't know any chords. Exaggeration, but cool. <laughs> How can you not love BB King, man? If you're a guitar player, I mean, we we hit the jackpot, my wife and I. That was God. That was what, man, five, six, seven years ago, and um. BB King and Buddy Guy came. It was a couple of towns over. It's probably about, I don't know, 40, 45 minutes from here, something like that. And they came, and man, it was in the middle of summer. It was flipping hot. It was an outdoor amphitheater. They didn't have no awning out there or nothing. I was like, man, if it rains, we're all effed, you know, but luckily it didn't rain. But, and uh, you talk about putting on a show, man. That's Buddy Guy. He came out and walked around through the audience, you know. He's always, done that for years i went back and listened to old books and stuff even the uh greg allman my cross to barry talks about when he saw buddy guy pardon me back in the day buddy guy had a guitar chord that was a hundred feet long a hundred feet so he could walk out through the crowd and all that stuff so he still did that when we saw him of course it was a wireless unit but it was really cool he looked like a kid in a candy store he had a big old smile he was he passed right in front of me right there Everybody's reaching out and patting him on the back and all that. And I said, nah, I ain't doing all that, man. That's, you know, he was right there. And um, it was cool, man. Got to see both of those guys. Fantastic show. Uh, Mark Taylor, I missed my strat. It was stolen along with a couple of other. Uh, stolen? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Mr. Taylor. Thank you, Mr. Gidry. Pardon me for a second. Excuse me. Thank you, Jim. Mr. Byron, my boss. RC, what's that? 20XL has a fade out function, but if you run yours through a volume pedal, you can get the same results. That's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That is a fantastic idea. Thank you, Mr. Brown. I don't have a volume pedal, but I never thought about that. That is a great idea, man. See, that's why I like, you know, talking to people that are experienced and, you know, like the same thing that, that you like. And because that person is going to know something probably that you don't, and you might know something that they don't. And that's, you learn off of each other. That is phenomenal. Thank you, Mr. Byron. I'm serious, man. Uh, Mark Taylor, back to his stolen guitars. Yeah, it sucks when it happens, especially when they are guitars you have had for 20 years. Oh, my. Man, I'm sorry. Holy smokes, man. man. Okay, let's see. I think I got it. Uh, I hope I'm not missing anybody. This chat is just laptop is so touchy uh ben says he's hoping to try wolfgang tomorrow is that right wow cool man i think you'll like it i love mine or wolfgang special that is i don't know if you mean just a wolfgang standard or you know either way it'll be awesome i think <clears throat> uh miss sonia says so many can coax the most beautiful music out of wrecks of guitars and amps. Yes. Oh, yeah, man. But 90% of it comes from here, you know, and then you just have to learn how to develop your ear and, and kind of EQ, EQ stuff, excuse me. And uh, it, it doesn't take long, you know. Craig. <laughs> Craig, what in the world? Uh, man, I need to work on that too. Yeah, I need to work on that. I haven't played that in forever. Running with the devil. Awesome song, but is it would not be in my top um, 10 Van Halen songs. It would not be. And I I want to say that I don't know if uh, Mike Cheever, I don't know if he subscribed to this channel or if he watches this, but, you know, uh, a few weeks ago, he nominated nominated me on Facebook to do this um, 
your favorite top 10 albums. You had to list an album every day. And, and if you watch this, Mr. Cheever, please don't take that wrong, man. I didn't, I'm not trying to be rude. I just don't, I don't engage in stuff like that. You know, I rarely even post anything on Facebook and I just, I just don't have the time to, okay, what's my favorite album today? Uh, let's see. Let me, okay. And then tomorrow and keep, I, I just, I'm nothing against if you like that, please don't take it that way. But I just don't, I just, you know, I, I have so many favorites and I just don't, I just don't have the time to sit there and sort all that stuff out. <laughs> you know, I hope, uh, I hope, I hope he doesn't take that wrong. Uh, let's see. Mr. Williams, bad luck, Mr. Mark Taylor. I had a Strat stolen three years ago. Fortunately, not my main, not my main guitar. Oh man. Uh, Mr. Taylor says, "Wow, glad he didn't get your main guitar. That should be a special punishment for guitar thieves, or there should be a special punishment for yeah. There should be." Put you know, special punishment for any thief. If you ask me, that's something that uh, I don't put up with. No sir, not when I'm out here busting my tail to make a dollar. You know. Uh, Miss Science says players that get involved with the audience directly will have the happiest fans. That's right. You know, if it's not if it's not for uh. The fans, there's going to be nothing. Even, uh, am I am I a Kiss fan? Yeah, the, I'm a Kiss fan. Am I a diehard Kiss fan? No, I'm just a casual Kiss fan. Um, I'm infatuated with their history, how their the, the nostalgia, the makeup, how they can put makeup on today and still look the same, except for a few pounds here and there that they did back in you know uh, seventy four, seventy two, or whatever it was. Um, but even Gene Simmons said, if it weren't for the fans, we would be nothing. And that's true. You know, that is such a true statement. And uh, it's awesome. So it, that's why I try to, I, I don't want to say fans. I don't want to say that because that's not right. I want to say friends on here, you know. Um, in the words of Adam the Woo, kindred spirits, you know, circle of goodness, not to steal anything from him. Uh, but it's the best way to describe it, you know. Uh, I appreciate everybody being here. You know, I appreciate people that watch on the replay. And, and you know, I'm starting to get a little bit better with the comments, you know, because it's, it's, it's hard for me to keep up with comments a lot on my, on my channel. But I'm, I'm, do, I'm getting better. <laughs> I'm getting better. You know, you just have to bear with me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to get, get caught up here. Forgive me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to man. This thing jumps and it and it passes like twenty comments. You know, and I don't want to you know jump over people like that. Uh, ben Coombs talking about a wireless unit, I think. Dave Byron. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, great players, great guys. Deb ran sound for Lonnie Brooks and said he was a great guy. No ego. Wow. That's awesome, man. Dry Heat. There he is. Dry Heat. Uh, I saw Buddy at his club, Legends, in downtown Chicago, and he went outside and jammed for the people who couldn't get in the awesome show. Wow. How about that, man? Okay, Ben, hitting Music Fest tomorrow, which is like a gear fest. Uh, going to shoot a bunch of vids and try to uh, try out a bunch of gear. That's awesome. 
that's like a toy store for us, ain't it? I mean, you know, uh, can you imagine like going to something like that, guitar center or something, and nobody else is in there, and you don't hear, hear all this other racket of people playing? It's just by yourself, and they said, enjoy. You have 10 minutes to pick what you want. 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It'd be something else. Oh, Lord. It would be wild, would it not? Well, when that Simon Williams Wolfgang special, there's no turning back. It wasn't for me. Holy smokes, man. I, uh, that's one of my, uh, I think that's one of my biggest videos on this channel. That thing blew up when I got my first Wolfgang special and unboxed it. And that was, uh, well, I don't know, two or three years ago. And, uh, you can't hardly hear what I'm saying because I wasn't from, real familiar with making videos then, you know. And uh, I was, but I wasn't. I sit there and unbox it and talk, and I'm like, you know, I went back and listened to it a lot later on, and I was like, man, you can't hardly hear nothing I'm saying, idiot. You know, but it doesn't matter. The The payoff is the reaction when I'm playing the guitar. You can just, you can kind of, even when I went back and looked, and I, you can see it on my face, and I'm like, wow, man, it's, it's uh, impressive. The guitar is built really well uh really great quality in my opinion just my two cents uh mr tullius anyone have an opinion on the ibanez 12 string acoustic guitar I have tried it and love the sound. I just need to pull that trigger. Um, I've never tried the Ibanez 12 string. I have a 12 string. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right here in the corner in that brown case that's standing up right there. It's a uh, Oscar Schmidt. Uh, there it is right there. Um, got it off Amazon. It was under $200. And it's electric, acoustic. It's got built-in EQ and all that stuff. You know, the volume, everything on top, like a you know a decent acoustic should have. And uh, for that price, it was amazing guitar. I love twelve strings. I just can't. I just can't do a lot on an acoustic or a twelve string. I just can't. I'm so used to electric. Only thing I can do on acoustic, man, is just really just chords. That's it. You know, I can't do like what Dave Byron does. <laughs> you know, he. He tears that stuff up. I can't do none of that stuff, man. I'm I'm doing good to do G, C, and D on an acoustic, you know. But a twelve string is beautiful if the if the uh, if the action is right, you know, and the strings aren't too high. There was one, and this just goes to show you about quality. And uh, I hope nobody is everybody still doing okay in here. I hope we're not. I'm not boring anybody, man. We, we'll keep going for a few more minutes, and um. I went to a, actually Guitar Center. This was years ago. Um, and there was a Martin 12-string acoustic. Um, it wasn't an electric acoustic. And it was only, uh, believe, it, believe it or not, man, it was $5.99. The only one in there with all the acoustics in the acoustic room, my son told me about it. He goes, Dad, you've got to go try this Martin 12-string. I said, where at? He said, Guitar Center. So we went. And I played it, and that thing was amazing. Because I've always struggled to play a 12-string. And I guess it's because of the, the action and the stuff, you know what I mean? But this Martin, if I would have had $600, man, I would have bought it. That thing felt like butter playing that thing. And it was easy to, to maneuver. My son took a video. It's on my channel. It is way, way back on this channel. I mean, way, one of the first couple of videos. And the, the quality is horrible on that video. This is, this is before HD even came out anything right smartphones were just coming out on the scene and he took a video of me playing it so it probably it's real grainy and it probably sounds crappy but that guitar played like a dream and uh, within a week i asked him i said is that guitar still down there no it's gone i even tried looking it up online couldn't find it not through my uh, store that i use i was like that but you know you know hey i got this one it was under 200 bucks plays great but it, i've never played a 12 string like that martin 12 string in my life, that thing was that was amazing how that played. D 
Dave Byron, he never been to uh, Buddy Guy's Legends Club, but Deb has. Yeah, I've never been to none of that either. Man, this thing is jumping. I'm just going to have to go right here. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm missing anybody. Please, I apologize. I can't. It, it just keeps going. I'm trying to stop it so I can read it. And it, it just. But that's a good thing. It's a active, active chat. I appreciate that. That keeps the show going. You know, when the chat dies, the show dies. You know, <laughs> Mr. Bruce, I agree, Joe. Well-built guitar. Yeah. Miss Sonia says, oh, I would have uh, I would have more than I could carry and be out the door in under 60 seconds. Only need 10 minutes if allowed 10 trips in and out of the guitar center. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. You have 10 minutes. Good luck. What did you get? I got a couple of picks and uh, a tuner. What? You idiot. <laughs> you know, there'd be somebody out there like that. It's like, dude, you have 10 minutes to get what you want. Uh, yeah. Can I get a bag of picks, please? Um... <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Uh... uh... Master Williams, Ben Coons, don't let that money burn a hole in your pocket. Oh, boy. I can't say nothing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ben. Uh, Mark Taylor, I have uh, a Satin Red Wolfgang special uh, now. Uh, saving for that new orange crush model right now. There is something about that color. I can't look away from it. I love that color, Mr. Taylor. I love uh, the three new models they came out with this year. What was the orange crush, the candy apple red, which I think Mr. Bruce has, and then that, the uh, what is it, a, a white or ivory, whatever. I'm going to tell you, I, I was looked, I kept going back and forth because I was thinking about getting one, but not now. <laughs> I was thinking about back then when they came out and uh, I kept going back and forth. I was like, I, I love the ivory. No, wait a minute. I love this orange. That's cool. I love the candy apple. It was, just, you know, so I said, you know what, man, just forget it. You know, it's, it's just, I got two of them. That's good enough, but it's just, you know how it is with those guitar nerds, man. You can never satisfy that urge when it comes to guitars. Check out guitar passion tonight on WJOE. <laughs> what is this radio anyway so yeah it's a beautiful guitar man i that is i agree mr taylor that's a beautiful guitar we are doing great joe okay i don't want to bore people to death man i know it's been going on for a while i can't i can't do those marathons like johnny and ben and i can't I can't do that. I do good to do an hour and uh, I have to get up, move around. Uh oh, Ben said, just checked and tomorrow's budget is $700 Canadian. So who knows what I'll buy? Wow. I need to get tires for my truck. <laughs> That's probably about what it's going to cost. I need three. What is it? Three. Yeah. Three new tires for my pickup truck. And, uh, I know people, you, why three? Because I got my truck lined up about six months ago and the left front tire was ate up because if your truck's out of alignment or your vehicle, I should say, if the front, if the front end is out of alignment, it's going to eat up your tires, either on the edge or the inside. Tires are supposed to wear in the middle if everything is done properly, right? So that left front tire was ate up bad. You can start seeing the steel belt and all that and it wasn't good. So uh, this has turned into... You know, I guess a tire chat for a second, but went and got the truck lined up, got a new tire on the left front. I didn't have the money to get a, one on the right as well. It was still in good shape, but now it's wearing down because now it's kind of, you know, one's the new tread and one's now it's kind of uneven. So 
Uh, I could use seven hundred dollars. <laughs> Uh oh, Craig Tullius, he asked the never ending debatable question. Hey, Joe, who was your favorite lead singer from Van Halen? Oh, man. Or we ain't going to start a fight in here, are we? <clears throat> I, um, Mr. Tullius, I've, I've, I've done videos about that on here, and I'll be more than glad to t uh, touch on that subject again. Uh, I love both. I really do. I love the uh, the classic Van Halen, Dave Lee Roth era. You you can't beat that with a stick. Those albums are just gold. <laughs> Literally, they are. But they're awesome, awesome, awesome. But to me, when Sammy came in, he took it to another level. And uh, I love those songs. I love Sammy's energy. I love his his dynamics. I love his songwriting. I love his voice. His voice now is starting to fray just a little, but I mean, good God, man, the, the man is 70, you know, he looks so good to be 70 than some people do when they're, you know, 60 or 55, you know, and he still is, looks wonderful for his age, you know? Um, so it's a close call, but I have to go with the Sammy era. I just, I, I I've always loved his attitude and in interviews and stuff. Dave is nothing against Dave, but he's he is kooky as hell. You know, I love him on the albums. Have you ever noticed when he? I watched a, a Joe Rogan podcast a few weeks ago when he interviewed Dave Lee Roth, and that was from like four or five years ago. And I'm guessing it's when they done the last Van Halen tour with Dave. And Dave talks about the most off the wall crap, you know. And when he smile, have you noticed when he poses for a picture with somebody, he's got that he smiles like. Like this, I'm like, dude, that's not how you smile. He's got this, this big, goofy ass grin. I, 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 it drives me nuts. I'm like, Dave, we, we don't need to see all of your teeth, man. I mean, just smile normal, please. <laughs> but respect to Dave Lee Roth. You know, if it wasn't for Dave Lee Roth, Van Halen wouldn't have been what they were. You know, that was the foundation. But uh, I enjoy those albums I, I i enjoy uh the sammy era more you know i just i just do that's just me uh ben coombs if joe misses your question or comments just type it in again yeah there you go thank you ben. <laughs> the 10 minute blue light special at guitar center today at 6 p.m be there or be square our first contestant. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, announcer, man. Shut up. That's enough. Uh, Simon. <laughs> yeah, I heard that, man. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know how much the, I think tires for that truck are going to be about uh, close to $200 a pop. <sighs> Big old tires, man. Oh, okay. Seven hundred dollars equals about five twenty-five U.S. dollars. Okay, man. Yeah, but the the everything there in Canada though is is a lot more expensive than than here, right, Ben? Stuff there is. I think he said a gallon of gas is like in U.S. Uh, currency. It's like six dollars or six twenty-five for a gallon of gas. Man, man. But uh, you know. It is what it is, man. You, you do what you got to do. Okay, let's see. Craig says, I agree with you on that. Uh, seen both in concert in the 80s. Oh, so you saw them in their prime. Okay, yeah. I've seen Van Halen twice. I've seen them on uh, the Balance Tour. And before that, when I was in high school, oh boy, that's a long time ago, the OU812 tour. And I have a tour book right there. It's hard to see, but that's the OU812 tour. Not from, I bought one when I went that night to that tour, but over the years, I lost it. Something, I don't know. Man, that was, I was a kid. So I got another one, uh, replaced it because I, I, that was just a cool memory. I remember sitting in the, in the seat waiting for the, you know, the first band came on, which was Private Life, I think. 
had a female singer. Yeah, they played, I don't know, they probably played uh, half a dozen songs. They were cool, but it was, you know, I ain't going to lie to you. I was like, yeah, okay, come on, man. Bring out Eddie and Sammy and Alex and Mike, man. That's, <laughs> that's wrong, but I was just, you know. And a little FYI fact, uh, you know, of course, Eddie was married to Valerie Bertinelli for years, right? But I have Valerie Bertinelli's book, her audio book, and she narrates it. And, uh, you know, come on, man, let's use common sense, right? You know, when Eddie was on the road, he messed around. Man, he's a rock star. You know, he was a lot younger. He was doing a lot of blow drinking. He was having fun on the side, right? Even Sammy says that in his book. They each had their own little tent under the stage. He didn't go into detail about what everybody else was doing. He just talked about what he did. But he said everybody had their own tent under the stage. So what does that tell you? But anyway, back to private life. When I saw them on that tour, 0812, uh, Valerie had an affair with the drummer in private life. And she has admitted that. You can look that up on YouTube. She has admitted that on a talk show, you know. So, uh, hey, man, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So what comes around goes around, you know. Mr. Byron, I saw them on the 5150 tour. It was awesome. I can only imagine how awesome that was, you know. Only imagine. I love that uh, Live Without a Net DVD, man. Golly. Phenomenal tour. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, man. I couldn't tell you how many times I watched that. Man. guys i think i'm gonna wrap it up man we've been on here over an hour yep uh, about an hour and 15 minutes i'm gonna wrap this up thank y'all for being here so much i really appreciate it i had a great time thank you so much and i hope everybody has a wonderful day if you want to shout out now's the time for shout outs type something in the chat dave byron uh Met Michael Anthony and Cabo San Lucas. Awesome, man. Thank you, Mr. Byron. Thank you, Mr. Coombs. Miss Tanya Doe. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Mr. Bruce <clears throat> says, take care, Joe. You too, my friend. Thank you. Mark Taylor. Thanks, Joe. Have a great day. You too, my friend. Thank you. And uh, and uh, good luck with the Wolfgang special. I hope you get it, man. Uh, Craig. Craig says later, Joe. Later, Mr. Tullius. Uh, Sonny says, loved it. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you for being here. It's uh, y'all are the reason why this was happening. Mr. Lofthouse, Lofthouse, Love House. What? <laughs> Lofthouse. He says, I missed it. No. I'm sorry, Mr. Lofthouse. You, you can check out the replay, sir, if you wish. But you're here for a shout-out, so there you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Simon Williams, thank you, man, for being here. Tell Sienna I said good evening. Your whole family, God bless them. Hope you have a great evening, sir. Brent C. Rocks. Thank you, Brent. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Dave Byron. Dry heat says later, everyone. Later. All right, man. Number three tech. <laughs> oh, cool. That's for audio amp and pedal repairs. Is that what is that? Your second channel? 
Oh, I have to check that out. That's cool. Okay, awesome. Okay, y'all. <laughs> That's cool. That is awesome. Yeah, fantastic. Yes. Okay, thank y'all for being here. If you watch this on the replay, you know the deal. Look for that subscribe button. Here's another video. One or the other. The way YouTube is backwards now, it's going to be this side or this side, one or the other. Click subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye.